Did you know with Watch OS 8 Assistive Touch, you can control your Apple Watch with no hands? So you can set up gestures like tap, double tap, clench, double clench, and shake to perform tasks on your Apple Watch with Watch OS 8. I'll show you what it is, how to enable it, and what you can do with it. Has anybody else found themselves needing to interact with your watch, but didn't have the option to use a second hand, and instead tap the screen or operate the digital crown using their nose? I certainly have. Well, assistive touch is an accessibility feature on your watch that detects hand gestures to control and navigate your Apple Watch display. So to set it up, first of all, you need to make sure you have Watch OS 8 installed. So go to your iPhone, watch app, then come down to general, software update. Righto, you can set up assistive touch directly on your Apple Watch, but it's far easier on your iPhone. Also note, assistive touch is currently only supported on Apple Watch SE, Series 6 or Series 7. But if you don't have one of those watches, keep watching so you can learn more about it. So still on the watch app, tap accessibility, then assistive touch and turn that on. Then tap hand gestures and turn that on. Let's tap learn more to see how it works. It will show you the gestures and when you tap try it out on Apple Watch, it will prompt you on your watch to try out the gestures. So tap pinch, it will open this screen and then you can perform the pinch. Tap double pinch, then try that out. Clench, try it out. Lastly, double clench and confirm with a double clench. Come back to the iPhone, tap done, and now we can see what all four of those gestures are mapped to do. Before you try it out, you might wanna set up the activation gesture, and I prefer the double pinch to do this. You can also choose to have no signal at all, which means every time you wake up the Apple Watch, assistive touch will already be enabled. You may not want that, so having an activation gesture can come in handy. So on your Apple Watch, wake the screen up, and we can see that pinch moves forward in options, and double pinch moves back. A clench confirms. Here I'll set a timer and confirm that. I'll double clench to open the action menu and pinch to scroll over to sleep on the screen to show you this action menu and confirm sleep screen with a clench. I personally prefer to use the motion pointer to navigate the screen and reserve the pinch gesture to confirm an option instead. It's much quicker. So I'll map pinch instead as tap and I'll set double pinch as activate motion pointer. I'll also map clench to digital crown here. So now when I wake up the screen and double pinch, it activates assistive touch. Then when I double pinch again, you can see the motion pointer. So as I move my arm around here, you can see the pointer moves. When I hover the pointer over a selection, it will animate and choose that option. Or as I've mapped pinch as tap, I can select something immediately by just pinching once. And I can clench to simulate pressing the digital crown. There's a quicker way to activate the motion pointer by shaking your wrist. Let's set that up by going to assistive touch and tap motion pointer and customizing that. You can see we have hot edges which simulates swiping up, down, left and right on the screen. So we'll leave these as default. Now just come down to dwell control and turn that on. Then enable shake to start. You'll also need to set the action as tap point for it to behave intuitively. When you wake up the screen by shaking your wrist, the motion pointer is ready to go. You can do whatever task you want, and then you can even shake your wrist again to make the motion pointer disappear. So when might you wanna use this feature? Well, quite obviously, when you don't have the ability to use your second hand or arm, or don't have the use of it at all. It does take a while to get used to using this feature, but Apple are very clever by incorporating this accessibility feature into the Apple Watch. If my other hand is unavailable, I personally sometimes take a shortcut and tap the screen with my nose, or even use it to scroll the digital crown sometimes, as I mentioned before. Siri is another great assistant to you when you need accessibility shortcuts. So watch this video next to learn the best and fastest Siri commands for AirPods and AirPods Pro. I guarantee you'll learn something. Play that video.